Hello dear students, this question is from gate 2004 exam. It's a two marks question, but these days you can expect such questions only for one mark. So if you're preparing for gate 2023 or 24, then such question will be asked only for one mark. First, let me read out the statement, then we'll see the solution. Consider a small two-way set associative cache memory consisting of four blocks. For choosing the block to be replaced, use the least recently used scheme, which is LRU. The number of cache misses for following sequence of block addresses is the sequence is 8, 12, 0, 12, 8. Okay. So I've noted down the sequence given in question. Also, they are saying cache has four blocks. It's a two-way set associative cache. These are the four blocks of cache. Saying that it is a two-way set associative cache automatically means there will be only two elements in one set. Okay, so two blocks in one set. Total, we have four blocks. If we place two, two blocks in a set, how many sets will uh, we have? there will be only two sets, each containing two cache blocks or two cache lines. Now, the replacement policy is given as LRU. That means whenever both the lines of any set are filled, to replace a block, we'll use the uh, least recently used scheme. Okay. So, you know, any reference to a, a RAM block, will be mapped to one set okay you cannot tell which line in that set uh, is going to be is going to contain that reference block but you can certainly tell the set number how do we get to know the set number just take x mod number of sets that means x mod 2 number of sets here is 2 so this will tell you in which set this element is going to be placed. Now 8 mod 2 is 0. Okay, so it will go in set number 0. Then 12 mod 2 is 0. Okay, because 12, will, uh, 12 is also even number. So that will be mapped to set 0 again. Now you see set 0 is completely filled. That means to accommodate even one more block, we have to replace one of these two. This one was 8. Okay, I just wrote 0 by mistake. Next, we have reference to block number 0. Okay, both of these were not present in cache. So, both of these will be a mess. 0 is also not present in cache. This will also be a mess. Now, we have to bring 0 from RAM and place it into cache. The thing is, where will you place? So, from here, you look back into time and find the least recently used block out of 8 and 12. 12 is recently accessed. Okay, so least recently accessed will be 8. That means you are going to replace this block 8 and update it with block 0. Next reference is to 12. Now you see 12 is found in the cache. Okay, we have 12. That means this reference will be a hit. So here we have our first hit. After that, we make a reference to block number 8. 8 is nowhere found in cache. That means this again will be a miss. So your answer is 4. We have 4 misses. Okay, let's also see where this block will be placed in the cache. Now from here, that means from the current reference, you look back into time. See, 12 is the recently accessed one. We have accessed 12 here only. And 0 is least recently accessed or least recently used. That means you are going to replace it again with 8. Okay. Answer is 4. These are those 4 messages.